Hi, my name is Liz. I'm the Youth Education Coordinator here at Matthew Nichols. Today, we're gonna to make wheat bread. Wheat has been grown in the Middle East and Asia for over 11,000 years. And wheat is just like any other seed. The wheat berry has a seed coat, it has endosperm inside, and it has the embryonic seedling. In wheat, we call that the germ. Today we're using whole wheat flour and white flour. Whole wheat flour has the outer coating, the endosperm and the bran and the germ all together. White flour just has those things sifted out. The white flour though helps the dough rise so we get nice fluffy loaves of bread. The first thing we need to do in order to make bread is to proof the yeast. The yeast needs to be proofed or kind of woken up in water. And that water needs to be pretty warm. First, we need that water to be about 110 degrees. We don't want to use boiling water though. I'm pouring the yeast into that very warm water so that it can proof. You see that it's starting to bloom. It starts to look a little bit foamy. Next, I'm going to add the whole wheat flour. I add that first because that absorbs a lot of water. I'm stirring it so that it starts to look sort of like a milkshake, that kind of thick consistency. That will rest and proof for about 20 minutes. Now that that sponge has proofed and that yeast has multiplied, I'm going to start adding more flour using the white flour. I'm pouring that in and mixing it up so it looks sort of like a raggedy dough. It's not smooth yet. Next, I'll add the salt. The salt goes in the same amount as the yeast. That slows things down a little bit so the bread can start to develop its flavor and still have some energy left when it goes in the oven so it can pop. The way that we knead is we fold the dough over, fold a corner over, and then we roll with it. Fold a corner over, roll with it. Fold a corner over and roll with it. This makes a nice smooth loaf. That kneaded dough now needs to rest. It needs to rest and double in size for about two hours. Place a plastic wrap over it and put it in a place that's warm and draft free. Our dough has rested and it's doubled in size. Now it's ready to take out of the bowl and cut into pieces to make loaves. I'm going to knead that small loaf again so that I can get a smooth top. That smooth top will help when that dough is rising. So I'm kneading it and making sure that that top of that small loaf is rounded. For the baguette, I'm taking that blob of dough out and I'm going to fold it in half. I'll fold it in half again, and then I'm going to press it down. I'm going to roll from the center all the way out to the edges, tapering the edges just a little bit. I'll take my round loaf and my baguette and put it on this sheet pan that's coated with uh, parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just use a little bit of oil. That dough has to rest again. It needs to rise for about an hour. Our loaves have risen and they're ready to go into the oven. Now we're putting that bread into the oven, 375, 400 degrees, and we're gonna shut the door and we're gonna bake that for about 35 to 40 minutes. We've taken the bread out of the oven and we're gonna cut it open. There's a really nice loaf of bread. There are a lot of holes in it and the holes are pretty much even all the way up to the top. That's a pretty good thing. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope that you make bread at home and share it with people that you love.